Hi everyone, I'm Tickety Boo, I hope you are too. Last year, Levi Allen laid down the gauntlet and that was for the Make Stuff Challenge. We want you to make a two minute video about what life's better when you make stuff means to you. And that encouraged me to start making films and doing photos as my new hobby. Now little did I know, as I said in last year's video, the reason I make stuff is for my family and the best stuff I've ever made is my family. And I finished that video by saying to Levi and Janelle that they were just starting on that journey. Levi, Janelle, you're on that journey now. Yeah, so life definitely is better when you make stuff. And at the time, I didn't know that Levi and Janelle had actually started that. And now they have their beautiful daughter, Ember. Now in the last 12 months, a lot has happened. Setting aside that dreaded COVID-19, which has affected everybody in the world. A lot of other things have happened to us and a lot has happened to my family. So as this year's challenge is about archive, here's a brief overview of when it all started. You see in 1969, they were landing on the moon, but I was landing on the planet Earth as I was born on May the 10th. Now I grew up in the 70s and 80s and we had some awesome music. And not to forget those wicked hairstyles. But during those times, there were no mobile phones or, believe it or not, computers until the 80s. In fact, we had things called telephone boxes. And after leaving school, I had quite a few different jobs before I joined the armed forces, following the footsteps of my grandfather and my dad. And I thought that was where I was going to stay. Straight to the front of the line, got my name on the list, give me room, step aside. I can show you how to have a good time, I'm that hard to forget, yeah, I'm one of a kind. Everybody trying to be somebody. But following the first Gulf War, I left the army and went back to Civvy Street. And then I had a few different jobs, including becoming a firefighter, which I still do today. Oh, yes. <laughs> I met my gorgeous wife Sam and we soon had our little bundle of joy Charlie in our lives my princess on the 26th of October 1995 oh yeah and not to forget the other big part of our family the horses and dogs we also opened up a florist business with my mum which Sam still runs today in our hometown of Exmouth we then got married and we were the first couple to officially do so on a beach in the UK. And this was on June the 8th, 1996, with vintage fire engines as transport. It was an awesome day. Ellie, princess number two, arrived on the 10th of December, 1996 by C-section and was actually due on Christmas Eve. Over the years between then and now, we have done so much, which has always been focused around our family, the horses and dogs. And everything I have done has always been for them. But that'll be for another story. Let's fast forward to just over a year ago. As I said, Levi encouraged me to start being creative, doing something I've always wanted to do. And But the problem is, I've always been too shy to do it. And he brought that out of me. And do you know what? I absolutely love it. I'd urge you all to get out there and have a go at it, whether it's taking photos or making videos, doing whatever you like. And as for my family, that's continued to grow. Three years ago, Charlie and Rob, my son-in-law, gave me the joy of the first granddaughter. That's princess number three, little Lily. And following that, Rob made me really proud by asking for Charlie's hand in marriage. And last year was one of the proudest days of my life as I walked her down the aisle and gave her away. And yes, there were plenty of horses and tractors involved. Ellie, she's doing awesome. And she was Charlie's maid of honor as all the extended family joined us in the celebrations. Now the last six months, they've been pretty hard for all of us. And like us, you may have lost someone close to you, but life must go on. We should all embrace what we have and savor every second. Continue making stuff and like us, something bright will arrive. You see, just over a week ago, princess number four, little Daisy has arrived and she makes everything tickety-boo. Gonna know my name